Well, hope you're enjoying the sunshine. We do need some rain and I'm watching potential drought conditions unfold across the Great Lakes region. Still got that 40% rain chance on Sunday, but the last few days of June going to return to that sunny weather pattern. Now, if you're looking at radar right now, you're probably seeing a few sprinkles from between Van Wert and Ottawa. The problem is the air is so dry and there's so little humidity that it's raining up in the sky, but when it actually hits the ground, no impact, no rain. Those are called false radar returns. Looking to the west, though, there is a cold front. You can see that line near Minneapolis, and that's what's going to be our next rainmaker into the overnight hours and Sunday. Tonight, there is the chance for a few light showers. Once that muggy, humid air starts to build in, then we'll start to see some of those rain showers actually hitting the ground. Tomorrow afternoon, there is that 40% storm chance. The best chance for that line of storms along the cold front is going to be to the east of the I-75 corridor. Here it is, that cold front coming in from the west. Initially, it's going to be Illinois that sees the rainfall, but late tonight, we're going to start to see some rain of our own as that cold front approaches and as the humidity builds. Forecast for Sunday, 40% chance of storms. It'll be a warm, muggy feeling day, not a washout, but still could deliver some needed rainfall. Let's break down the timing. 11 p.m. to midnight, that is when we're going to start to really see some light rain showers. Now keep in mind, it's going to be fairly sparse. This is not an all day, all night type washout rain into your Sunday morning. Showers start to fill on in and most areas should get at least a decent tenth of an inch of rain out of this system into your Sunday afternoon. We'll watch those push off to the east into northeastern Ohio and we're paying attention to a line of storms that will likely develop and push to the east of I-75. This is going to be the actual cold front that moves on through. You can see that line right there of some spotty shower and thunderstorms. Overall rainfall totals not going to be much, but we will take what we can get at this point. Starting to see some drought fill on into northern Indiana between Fort Wayne, South Bend, Gary and Chicago and right along the Illinois Indiana state line. That is where the rainfall has been even more absent than it is here. Overall, I'm honestly not expecting a ton of rain out of this. We're talking one tenth to maybe a few tenths of an inch. If we can muster up a thunderstorm and those areas west of I-75 going to get even less out of this rain system. Now that cold front is going to have an impact on our temperatures. A cooler feel Monday and Tuesday we will be back to the 80s, if not the upper 70s in spots and that beautiful Beautiful weather lasts for the 4th of July. We're going to have some early holiday weekend showers, but a beautiful day for Independence Day as some sunshine returns. After that Sunday storm chance, look what happens to those temperatures, upper 70s to low 80s as sunshine makes a comeback. A few showers and storms to kick off the holiday weekend, but 4th of July looking beautiful.